it uptown for us, ain't it, Pepper? Hey, don't worry about it, Sonny. You're my guest. How'd it do? How'd it what? How'd it... Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the Waldorf. May I help you? Yeah, uh, me and my partner here could use a couple beds. We just blew into town. We ain't from around here. Really? Um, just fill this out. Right away. Fill that out, will you, Sonny? I'll take care of the financial. Okay. You're a real cowboy, aren't you? Been accused of it a time or two, ma'am. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're real cowboys. Damn. 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 Well, there you go. A little piece of New Mexico right there. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, we were thinking maybe later to go to a museum, maybe take in an opera or two. How's that sound to you? Will this be cash or credit card, sir? Personal check, if you don't mind, little darling. I can't believe she didn't take my damn check. You ain't got no account. I don't know why you didn't just pay cash. Cash? After she insulted me like that? Hell no. At least we can get a bite while we're here. Howdy. And how would you gentlemen like those steaks prepared? Prepared? Oh, you mean cooked? Yes, sir. Cooked is most definitely what I should have said. Do excuse me, please. How would you like those steaks cooked? Well, just knock its horns off, wipe its nasty old ass, and chunk it right down on the plate. Same for me, please. I will give Chef your instructions exactly. And would you care to order wine with your meal? Uh, hi, yeah. Why don't you bring us a bottle of something or other? Uh, not too sweet? American. American something or other. Yes, sir, an excellent choice. And, uh, would you like to have glasses, or do you prefer to drink directly from the bottle? <sighs> well, uh, glasses, I reckon. Oh, and hey, toss a little ice in mine, if you would, my good man. Ice? Certainly, sir. Nothing could surprise me now. Oh, yeah, hey, tell that cook you better not screw up them steaks. We're kind of particular about our meat. Thank you, Pepper. I hope you enjoy this bottle as much as you did the previous two. Mm. I've been thinking. We got but one choice tomorrow. I think we ought to put on over to the police station. Let them handle this. I must say, they've done a fine job with this steak. I don't quite understand why they gift up these little lemons here, but steak is mighty tasty. You know, I mean, for all we know, Nacho could have got himself drunk, just thrown in jail. First thing in the morning, we make our way over to the police station. Get them handle this. That's what they get paid for. This little secret we don't tell her right now. This little secret. City. This shit don't fly around here. Whoa. Would you please? Just to come for a fitting. The last fitting. Will there be anything else? Hey, you got any uh, popsicles? Popsicles, no, sir. Well, uh, I guess that'll be all then. Thank you. Yes. 
It's going to be fun. Sonny, take a gander. Just tell me what it says. Tuesday, 9 p.m., 50 Central Park South, top floor. I must see you again, Margaret. Well, kiss a duck's red ass. I do believe she loves me. I'll be right back. That amazes me. I'm gonna like this town, you know what? Well, it's time to go. <laughs> Stop touching me, Pepper. Hey, get down. Pepper, them people think we skipped the check. Yeah, well, they think right. Well, bullshit, pay him. With what? You lying son of a bitch. You told me you still had some of that prize money left. I do. I wouldn't lie to you. Well, how much you got? Well, about eight bucks, I reckon. Eight bucks, I reckon. Better than a poking eye, ain't it? Pepper, I've had it with you. 